Hi, I'm Phil. Hi, I'm Jan. And hi, I'm Leonie. And welcome to The Gaming Table. Today we're going to be looking at a game called... Rhino Hero! Rhino Hero is a super fun card stacking dexterity game by Haber Games for 2-5 to five players aged 5 to 99. This is a game that everyone will enjoy and that lasts around 5 to 15 minutes. Rhino Hero works by taking turns to stack your wall and ceiling cards on top of the ones already placed by other players without making the tower fall. The game gets even more exciting when ceiling tiles require you to place the super awesome Rhino Hero Meeple. You can win in one of two ways. Either be the first to place all of your ceiling tiles or don't be the one responsible for making the Rhino House tumble. For an extra challenge, try to place all of the cards to build a Rhino House that is over three feet tall. Okay, so to set up a game of Rhino Hero, this is all you need to do. Uh, nice and easy, the game comes with two different packs of cards. So you've got this pack here, which is your, uh, your roof cards or your ceiling cards. And then you've got your wall tiles as well. So with your roof tiles, you want to shuffle them and deal five cards to each player. And then just with the, the wall cards, just sort of scatter them around the, the playing area. Uh, this is the base card that you put down first and you can decide based on your ability whether you want to go with sort of the easier one where you're going to have two walls for your foundation or if you think you're an expert builder you could flip it over and just have one card, uh, one wall card as your base. So you can make your decision on that, put that in the centre of your playing area and then you've got your little rhino hero character, just leave him to one side. So with the uh, ceiling or roof cards, uh, there's a few different ability cards that you can get. You can get sort of the normal ones just look like that, where you've got these sort of darker marks that show you exactly where you're going to need to place your wall uh, cards. Uh, then you get these ones here. Now these ones, I've got a plus one just up in the corner there. You can see in the little green circle. That means if you place that one, the next player needs to pick up one extra ceiling card before um, they have their next turn, just making it harder for them to get rid of their five roof cards. Um, this one here with the two times, the two multiplied in the corner, this one allows you to put down two uh, ceiling cards, just meaning you're going to get rid of your cards a little bit quicker. This one here, with the exclamation mark in the corner, that makes the next player miss a turn, which can be very frustrating. Uh, this one here is the fun one. After this one, after placing this roof card down, uh, the next person, uh, they can do it either before or after they put their wall cards down. They then, they then have to place the little Rhino Hero character very carefully onto the spot where Rhino Hero is shown on the ceiling card. And the last uh, sort of ability card is this one here, with the little purple circle with the arrows. This one here uh, changes the direction of play, so the play goes in the other order. Um, so they are the different ability cards that uh, the roof tiles have. That's basically the setup of Rhino Hero, so you can go ahead and have fun playing the game. Okay, so that was a little bit about Rhino Hero. So, a little bit about what we enjoy about the game. Do you want to start off? Yeah. Go on then, what do you like about Rhino so Hero? So, the first thing I like about Rhino Hero is the amazing illustrations. <laughs> the way they're funny, we have a laugh about them. And, yeah, you'll love it yeah. when you laugh about it with the family. And if, then, if the artwork in a game is good, Nay has a really good time playing the game. <laughs> yeah. I love looking at all the different pictures, the images yeah. being used, and yeah, the artwork certainly is quite funny with the yeah. uh, Rhino Hero game. Yeah. The things that you can see in the windows, what the different animals are hanging up and doing. The problem is Naomi often refers to Rhino Hero as being cute. I'm not entirely sure Rhino Hero would be pleased with that. No. <laughs> he's meant it's, to be it's, a it's hero and the, strong. It's not the thing he's going for, is it? <laughs> yeah, I do like the little character thing. Yeah, what else do you like about it? I also like the excitement when 
you know you've done a good move to make the next person make the tower fall. And it's really exciting. Yeah, particularly when it's mummy who's yeah. about yeah. to make the tower yes. fall. That's normally where the and excitement comes in. I, I like the, the, the way that the cards have different sort of abilities, I suppose, yeah. don't they? Yeah. So different cards do different things. Some of them don't have any abilities. Some yeah. make you pick up... Um, make the next person have to pick up another card some make the change the the pl- the direction of play change so that's quite nice for sort of mixing the game yeah. up a little bit and you can just get that even at a young age the tactics in can't yeah. you yeah. yeah i like the way the fact that as you're about to place those cards on and, and you, you delicately moving them into position suddenly your fingers seem to become really sweaty <laughs> And yeah. and it's it's hang on a minute, why is this so hard? All I'm doing is putting a card on another card. And your hands start and shaking. Your hands start shaking <laughs> yeah, and, and then yeah. it goes down. And then as it falls down you're kinda of like, Oh no, but if you're the two that haven't knocked it down and you're sitting there going, Yes Brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And it's also quite like you're quite proud of yourself when it falls sometimes because it'll fall really neatly. Like the other day it fell. And the card was hanging from one of the other cards. And I was like, that is so neat. Yeah, you managed not to knock yeah. the whole thing down. So we continued on, yeah. didn't we? It's, we the, the, it's it, so. the skill involved in definitely. making the tower yeah. drop. It's, yeah. it, it, there's definitely skill to that and skill yeah. to not making it drop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But it, yeah, it's just a fun, frantic you know, game yeah. to play at home and we just have such a good time with it, isn't it? And it and it, yeah. it's got a challenge there and you know, whether you play it with two cards as your base or you're brave enough to do one card as the base, it all adds to the excitement as that tower's getting higher and higher. And if you manage to build it to three foot, wow, that must be amazing. I don't yeah. think we've done very well with that. No, we, we? we've never got that far. But um, yeah, no, but that that's our opinions on Rhino here. We yeah. love playing this game as well at home and, you know, if you want to check out um if you want to get a copy for yourself then please have a look at the links down below dyson decks have got lots of great board games you know for families for for adults for children they're, they're all there but um there's a link below and um, that's where we buy a lot of our games from and we have yeah. a great time with all of them and uh, please leave us a comment and tell us what you think of rhino hero maybe tell us a story about your best moment in rhino hero if you've played it Uh, But that's it for now. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you again soon on the gaming table. Bye. Bye!